Okay, real quick video. Doing some more printing and fist, uh, fit testing and such. Just want to give a quick show of what that's looking like. Um, I've got some work to the shield. I did some thing. I got the shield on. I put that extension piece in, but it's not attached to this guy. And what it does, it lets this guy just lock in. So that's how I'm gonna use it. Maybe I'll change it, but I don't know. Right now it's fine. Um, so what I've done here, these pieces, they're two separate pieces, but I've just super glued these together just to see what it looks like. So this is not usable. And what I'm working on are these legs. So <laughs> let me pop one of these guys out real quick so you can see what's going on here. Oh, great, I broke that tab. Well, not a big deal because it's a test and uh, it wasn't made with the right infill level anyway. Let me pull that out. All right, so you can see here, this is the, the mechanism that we're gonna be trying to use here. Uh, and what happens is this guy kind of pops out. Well, I pulled it out. Uh, it's not fastened together, so you can just see what it looks like. But we've got two halves around a, what would be a ball joint in their version, but ball, balls are hard to print. <laughs> No, I'm funny thing. Uh, so this guy pops out and rotates around. These guys obviously just latch onto him. And as you saw, all of that slides into here. And then you can pivot out, just flip around to the other side where it hasn't fallen apart. So you can see underneath what that looks like. And then when things are, should allow this to rotate out. Now I can't do it right now one handed, but that's what stuff's looking like. Oh, also, here's this is kind of cool. Not cool, kind of cool. It's totally cool. Um, just the the shoulders. These aren't pinned in or anything, but they're you know they're doing their thing like they're supposed to. Yeah. So, we'll work on some more stuff. Let me see. Um, and they got these guys. It looks like they're good. Did some slight resizing stuff so there's less sanding required. I'll have to print out later. Next thing I'm going to go on to is. Uh, working on the, the thigh part of the leg, and then um, the intake and stuff. Also, some interesting stuff. The way I did this, right, I got some supports because I printed this up, but it actually looks better with the supports. Like, I should have designed it like that. Not with that little gap right there, but just this long piece, and it would have been better. Because um, that's, like, impossible to get out. And there's even this one that comes up here that's, like, impossible to get out. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll design it that way, or put that in on purpose, so then there won't be a support. It'll just be what I created, and it'll be my own built-in support. All right, and then this is going to go ahead and, uh, this is a, a joint that goes on here that's going to ultimately attach to the, this half of this guy. He kind of sits right under him, right? Like, swivels out or something. I also have another piece of this. Where I've closed up things, uh, and I'm working on making the wing able, able to be pivoted in here. Um, and then I've got the tabs that would lock on. I don't have these slits on this particular piece, uh, but on another version that I've printed, I haven't tried putting these together, we've got the tabs slots for this guy, the version that has the tabs on it. Right? And then even on the body, on the lower body, right? so when it raises up into guardian mode, you can tab in there. So these are some pieces that I, I think these are the final versions. Like, I don't see a reason to do anything more to these pieces. So they're just off on the side to be printed into a more final version after I work things out. All right, that's it for now. That also, 3D printed Ultimaker 2. Ah, those puzzle piece lines. You guys are sleeping on a 3D printer, man. <laughs>